Hi there guys and welcome to another Crytan photography video and today we're going to be talking about how to get more blur into your image. So the first thing you want to do is if you're shooting with a mobile phone um, I'm going to show you some quick tips uh, using a simple app um, that's available for free and uh, a couple of uh, tips and tricks just to get your eye in and get your focus in and how to actually kind of cheat to get blur but at the same time it's going to improve the overall effect that you want to go for so stay tuned we're going to hop into my phone and do this quickly um so here i have shot um my watch i just took it off quickly just to show you um how you can actually add the blur in post-production um if your phone camera doesn't have a, a blur option not to worry if you've got a good enough camera you can still get a blur in your image but it just takes a couple of minutes playing around with a snapseed to get this effect going so the first thing you want to do is hop into snapseed um, i shot in raw so i got the option to develop um, the edit uh, play with the exposure and saturation so i'm happy with that and you're going to move on to the next bit of the editing so you want to tap on the uh, drawing tool on there and you're going to go to where it says lens blur in the filters section so click on that and you're going to be brought up with an elliptical tool now a lot of people tend to just stick and just use that and adjust it and they're happy move on next image next photo and that's great for them however um, there is a little option in here that people are overlooking um, which I don't know if I was the first person to discover this maybe it's a lot of people have been playing around with it but I uh, personally love this because this will um, make your blur more believable make you look like you shot it with a DSLR so what you want to do is up that blur strength right up to 100 and you want to pull that elliptical tool right down to the bottom um, but I want to bring my fingers in focus and the watch in focus but you're saying, Phil, right, what's happening? The watch is out of focus now, and part of your finger is out of focus. How is this helping me? I'll tell you what, just hit that tick there, because I'm going to show you a trick. So, at the top of the screen, there's a little revert uh, to view edits. So you can actually go back into the editing option and play around with the settings to, uh, to your liking. So you can go back in there, and you can say view edits, and this will give you an option to go back into the lens blur now instead of going back into the normal setting that we had before where you could play around with the elliptical tool you can click on the paintbrush one and this option allows you to paint that blur that you had into your image and only into the parts that you want the blur to affect now bear in mind i pulled the um, elliptical tool right to the bottom of the right hand corner of the screen and this blurred out all the image so I've got control to blur any part of the image I like except where my fingers uh, were still in focus so what you want to do is up your lens blur to let's say 75 and click the eye and that will give you um, an option to see where the actual blur is being added to your image so just pull the blur back in using this paintbrush so I'm just doing it really quickly um, but I'm gonna go in nice and neat just to show you different differences so all you need to do to make your brush a bit smaller is to zoom in and you'll notice there's that little dotted uh, circle and that actually tells you how big your um, edit tool is when you're using your finger or a stylus if you've got um, that capability and what you want to do is to erase any of the blur on the watch is to actually tap down to where it says zero on the lens blur option and this will enable as you can see that red um, view for the where the uh, blur is affecting is now disappearing as I am painting over it's really really simple and it's just a handy neat little trick um, that I played around with so I'm 
just bringing my fingers back into focus. Just that finger as well. Right, so you can spend a bit more time than myself today on this uh, on this edit, just to make sure that you've got um, all the areas that you want in focus and um, the blurred parts um, done. So as you can see, there's a bit of lines around my fingers, but that's fine. So what you want to do is, after you've done that, turn off the eye, and there you have the blur in the background. So this is a quick little handy tip if you click on you can move on to the edits and let's finish the image so I like the black and white so I'm gonna go black and white on this all right and contrast a bit of brightness and shadows Dang, just a tiny bit and once you've done that, we're going to bring in details. Sharp. Any tool that you use in this, uh, in Snapseed, can all be um, painted on in terms of the edit. So if you just want a particular part of your image sharpened, you can actually use that as well. We're just sticking with the blur there and the structure on there as well. Okay. And last but not least, uh, a bit of vignette. Always got to have a bit of vignette. So there you have it. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like what you see, drop us a like. If you want to see some more content, uh, subscribe below. Um, and also, if you've got any ideas that you want me to um, do some reviews or instructional videos, pop a comment and I'll get back to you and hopefully we'll do that in the future. Um, and also, if you like the music in this video, show us some love. Um, I make some of it on SoundCloud. And yeah, look forward to the next one and keep snapping. Cheers, bye.